Today's drug is duloxetine. Brand name, Cymbalta and Drizalma. The therapeutic category is an antidepressant. More specifically, a serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor, or an SNRI. Dosage form and strength. Duloxetine comes as a delayed release capsule in a 20 mg, 30 mg, 40 mg, and 60 mg strength. It also comes in a delayed release sprinkle in a 20 mg, 30 mg, 40 mg, and 60 mg strength. Indications and dosing for adults. For all the indications, a general dosing is 60 mg by mouth every day. The first indication is fibromyalgia. This is for the delayed release capsules only. When initiating, start at 30 mg by mouth every day for one week. The max is 60 mg per day. The next indication is for generalized anxiety disorder. When initiating, start at 30 mg by mouth every day for one week. You may extend over two weeks if the patient is elderly or if tolerability is a concern. Dose increases are done in 30 mg increments. The max dosing is 120 mg per day. Anything greater than 60 mg per day, though, is rarely more effective. Another indication is for major unipolar depressive disorder. When initiating, start at 20 to 30 mg by mouth every day, twice daily. May initiate at 30 mg by mouth every day for one week if tolerability is a concern. The max dosing is 120 mg per day. Doses greater than 60 mg per day, though, have rarely been seen as more effective. Another indication for adults is chronic musculoskeletal pain. When initiating, start at 30 mg by mouth every day for one week. Max dose of 60 mg per day. And the final on-label indication for duloxetine is neuropathic pain due to diabetes. When initiating, start at 30 mg by mouth every day for one week unless tolerability is a concern. Max of 120 mg per day, but once again, doses greater than 60 mg per day have rarely been seen as more effective. Some off-label uses is chemo-induced peripheral neuropathy and stress urinary incontinence in both men and women. Indications and dosing for pediatrics. In fibromyalgia, in ages greater than or equal to 13 years of age and up, the dosing range is between 30 and 60 mg by mouth every day. When initiating, start at 30 mg by mouth every day for one week, with a max of 60 mg per day. The next indication for pediatrics is for generalized anxiety disorder. In patients that are greater than or equal to 7 years of age and up, the dosing range is between 30 and 60 mg by mouth every day. When initiating, start at 30 mg by mouth every day and increase in 30 mg per day increments after 2 weeks. Max of 120 mg per day. The final indication for pediatrics is for major unipolar depressive disorder between the ages of 7 and 17 years of age. The general dosing range is between 30 and 60 mg by mouth every day. When initiating, start at 30 mg by mouth every day and may consider increasing the dose after 2 weeks. The max is 120 mg per day. Mechanism of Action and Pharmacology Duloxetine displays strong inhibition of neuronal serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake. There is also weak inhibition of reuptake of dopamine. There is minimal to no activity for muscarinic, cholinergic, H1, histaminergic, or H2 adrenergic receptors. There does appear to be MAO inhibition. Duloxetine is well absorbed. It is metabolized hepatically via the CYP1A2 and CYP2D6 pathways, forming inactive metabolites. 70% of the drug is excreted in the urine, with 20% in the feces. The onset of action for anxiety is typically observed within two weeks, with continued improvement through weeks four through six. For depression, effects typically observed within one to two weeks with continued improvement through weeks four through six. 
Time to peak is seen within 5 to 6 hours with food delaying this by 1.7 to 4 hours. Half-life elimination in children greater than or equal to 7 years up to adolescence occur in about 10.4 hours. In adults, half-life elimination occurs around 12 hours and around 4 hours in elderly women. Duloxetine is greater than 90% protein bound. Special Populations and Considerations In the elderly, there is a 25% increase of the AUC. Smoking cigarettes reduces bioavailability by 33%. Regarding the discontinuation of therapy, gradually titrate the dose down over 2-4 to four weeks. In patients with renal impairment, avoid use if the creatinine clearance is less than 30, otherwise consider lowering the starting dose. In hepatically impaired patients, avoid the use in child pew class A, B, or C. Regarding the switch to or from MAOIs, allow 14 days between discontinuing MAOI and initiation of duloxetine. In regards to pregnancy, caution is suggested, especially in the third trimester. Low fetal harm, but risk of withdrawal and serotonin syndrome. Side effects. Some general side effects are nausea, dry mouth, constipation, appetite loss, feeling tired, or drowsy. Some serious side effects are confusion, bleeding, bruising, decreased libido, muscle cramps, tremor, yellowing eyes or skin, and dark urine. There is a black box warning for suicidality. There is an increased risk in children and adolescents, as well as in young adults with major depressive disorder. When using this medication, risk versus benefits should be weighed. Observe the patient for clinical worsening, suicidality, and unusual changes in behavior. Drug interactions. There is a concern for increased bleed risk regarding to clopidogrel, NSAIDs, and warfarin. There are concerns for increased toxicity and decreased efficacy regarding drugs like cimetidine, ciprofloxacin, and flecainide. Monitoring parameters. Monitor for clinical improvements or worsening, changes in behavior, monitor liver and renal function tests, as well as blood pressure. Patient counseling information. Duloxetine is used to treat various mood disorders such as depression and anxiety in adults and children. It can also be used to treat diabetic neuropathic pain and other pain disorders such as fibromyalgia. When taking duloxetine, do not open the capsules. It should be taken whole without crushing or chewing. It may be taken with or without food. If just starting therapy, it may take up to four weeks before symptoms improve. In some patients, it may affect blood pressure, so it is advised to check it regularly.